Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with DevCentral, and today we're going to talk about a vulnerability that was recently released. Uh, it's CVE number 2020-5902, and it deals with the traffic management user interface on the Big IP, or the TMUI. And I wanted to just draw like a quick picture up here of kind of what's going on. Uh, so let's say you have, you know, your Big IP doing awesome things in your network. You've got users out here, you know, who access your web applications. I'll just draw, you know, your web app is, is over here. And, uh, you know, maybe you've got several uh, instances of that, whatever. Um, and so, you know, typical normal or normal traffic will come from users through the big IP back to your web application, right? And this thing processes traffic and does all kinds of stuff. Well, there's obviously also an administrative function. Uh, so I'll just put like admin, say right here. So the administrator is also going to um, access the big IP to do all the administrative functions. You know, if you need to set up a pool member or a virtual server, or you need to configure an SSL profile, or all of those kinds of things. And the way that you gain access to the Big IP from that is this traffic management user interface through the configuration utility. Um, and that is the thing that has, uh, that, that has this vulnerability, that, that this vulnerability centers around. Uh, just to give you an idea of the vulnerability, it has a score of 10 on the common vulnerability scoring system. And, and 10, frankly, is the worst. Uh, this is a remote code execution vulnerability, which means an attacker could uh, fully gain, you know, access to your system, uh, you know, at the root level. So this this is not good. But rather than you know act like this is not there, obviously we want to we want to come to you and talk about this and talk about ways to fix this or to you know mitigate the problem. So the number one thing that I want to that I want to mention here in terms of fixing this problem is to update your software or move to a known fixed version of software. Uh, and I use the term update, not upgrade, uh, carefully there because what I mean when I say update is if you're on like a dot release, if you're on 14 dot, you know, x dot, x dot, x, whatever, then we're not necessarily saying, hey, you have to move to like 15 dot, you know, whatever. You can just move to the next, you know, dot version of the major version that you're already on. Uh, so no need to move to a full, you know, major upgrade to like the next, you know, next major, um, up, up, you know, upgraded version. So update the software. There's a, uh, there's a matrix that's part of a security advisory that our uh, F5 uh, security team has put out, <clears throat> and we'll link to that in this. But you can look on that matrix and see there's a table there that shows the known vulnerable versions and then the known fixed versions. So you can just reference that and see what version you're on, if it's vulnerable, and then what, uh, what update you need to move to to make you not vulnerable. Uh, but short of that, if you cannot update, then there are a few mitigation actions to help protect you against this vulnerability uh, while you're maybe waiting to update, right? So, uh, so the, the first thing that I'll mention is the management port or the management interface. So I'll say uh, management port on the big IP this needs to not be publicly accessible to the internet. So this needs to be locked down. It only needs to be accessible from a secure network. Um, but there are many big IPs out there. You know, if you do a, if you do a you know, search with some of these scanning type tools, you can see that, hey, there's a bunch of big IPs out there that have their management interface or their management port exposed to the open internet. Uh, so that is definitely something that you need to not do. When a big IP ships initially, this is actually locked down, so it's not, uh, you know, it's not exposed to the open internet. Uh, but for whatever reason, you know, you may have, you may have had to make changes on that or whatever. But we don't want, we don't want you to expose that to the open internet, lock that down, and only allow secure network access to the management port. Uh, the other thing that I will uh, mention is the self IP. So self IP lockdown. So you need to block access to the configuration utility, this thing that we talked about a second ago, by locking down self-IP ports. So I'll just put uh, self-IP ports here. All righty, and there's a couple of different ways. Uh, whenever you go into each of your self-IPs, you can configure the self-IP, and you can say allow none, allow none on the, um, on the port, you know, availability or accessibility, or you can say allow custom. So I'll say allow uh, custom here. And if you allow custom, 
Uh, well, first of all, we, we recommend that you just say allow none. So don't allow any ports to be available via self-IP um, so that it, it blocks access to the configuration utility. But if you need to open up ports uh, for self-IP purposes, then we would say choose the allow custom option there. And when, if and when you need to do that, make sure that you do not choose ports that are in use by the configuration utility. And uh, the configuration utility uses uh, either TCP port 443 for most cases, or there are some later versions of Big IP VE uh, that might use uh, port TCP port 8443. Uh, so if you do have to allow custom on self IP ports, make sure you do not allow the 443 or the 8443 TCP ports. Uh, okay, so, so lock that down as well. This right here, these two steps are protection against unauthenticated users as well as authenticated users. Uh, so this should help with those scenarios. There is another thing that I'll mention for unauthenticated, unauthenticated users uh, specifically. Um, I'm going to put location match right here. Location match. And this is in the uh, HTTPD. Alrighty, so you want to add a location match configuration element to HTTPD, the HTTP daemon, 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 whatever you call it. Um, and the syntax for adding this, uh, you know, the configuration changes here, it, the, the syntax specifically is in the security advisory that I mentioned a second ago that we'll, uh, that we'll link to. You can do this configuration via the command line or you can do it via iControl REST. Uh, just a quick note on iControl REST, you do want to allow time to let the REST commands fully populate and do what they got to do, right, before, uh, before you, you go on to another one. So basically give some time in between iControl REST commands. Um, if you choose to go that route. <clears throat> uh, the, other, the last thing that I'll mention is some people say, hey, how, do I, how can I look for evidence that, uh, that maybe an attacker has tried to exploit this vulnerability on my, on my vulnerable big IP? And what you can do is you can search or, uh, or look, for, um, look for entries in var log on some of the uh, later versions. So I'll just put var log. Um, and then also in some of the newer versions, uh, you can examine the output of the the journal CTL uh, and, and look there for, uh, for evidence of an attempted exploit on this vulnerability. Uh, the details of how to look at that and some of the command, the syntax and all that to, to type in uh, to explore those is also in that security advisory. So again, this is a pretty major um, vulnerability that, uh, that Big IP has on it. We want you to be safe. Uh, we want to share with you the, uh, the, 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 you know, the mitigation steps, the protection steps. Uh, so again, update your software. That is the number one. That's the best thing to do. Short of that, to protect yourself, you can do these things that we talked about as well. So, uh, so we want you to stay safe out there. I want to say thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video. Hey, you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking up here on our DevCentral logo, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.